as he flies to California today, we know he has no interest in meeting this moment. We know he won't listen to the experts or treat this disaster with the urgency it demands, as any president should do during a national emergency. He's already said he wanted to withhold aid to California to punish the people of California because they didn't vote for him. This is another crisis, another crisis he won't take responsibility for. The West is literally on fire, and he blames the people whose homes and communities are burning. He says, quote, you got to clean your floors, you got to clean your forest. This is the same president who threw paper towels on the people of Puerto Rico instead of truly helping them recover and rebuild. We know his disdain for our own military leaders and our veterans. Just last year, the Defense Department reported that climate change is a direct threat to more than two-thirds of the military's operationally critical installations. That's what the military warned him. And this could well be, this well could be a conservative estimate. Donald Trump climate denial may not have caused these fires and record floods and record hurricanes. But if he gets a second term, these hellish events will continue to become more common, more devastating, and more deadly. 